So you bought a show at website template, now it's time to customize it. But where do you even begin? Today, I'm breaking down customizing your show at website template into eight bite-sized steps. Hi friends, I'm Krista from JB and Krista, where we help businesses create a website that reaches more people, generates more leads, and grows your business. Today, we're talking about ShowIt, which is one of my favorite website platforms. And even though ShowIt makes it really easy to create a beautiful website, it can be a little overwhelming to turn a template filled with demo content into something that generates revenue for your business. Before we get started, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you can get more videos from us in the future. And if you have any questions, just drop those in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Okay, so let's dive in. As you probably know, Show It is one of our favorite website platforms because it gives you so much creative control over building a website. In this video, we're gonna assume that you've already chosen a template, either free or paid, and loaded it into your Show It account. If you're not sure how to do that, click the link below or head to showit.co for directions. Here's where you don't wanna get started, just diving in and customizing each page. That can be a little bit overwhelming. If you go through some of the steps that we outline in this video, it's gonna make the process a lot more manageable and hopefully help you get your site live fast. First, gather your materials. Putting together a list of all the elements you're going to need to complete your site is gonna make the process feel more like you're going through a checklist instead of just arbitrarily customizing each page on the site. We recommend gathering your logo and maybe even a few different variations of your logo if you have different versions of it, some headshots, some of your favorite work, and for example, if you're a wedding photographer, you might choose six of your favorite weddings to feature and choose around 25 images per wedding to put into galleries on your website. But don't load those galleries yet, we're just gathering right now. Then I recommend gathering between 50 and 100 images of yourself, your work, images that correlate with your brand, don't stress too much over these images because they're just gonna kind of fill in the gaps on your website. It's just helpful to have a starting point when you go to put images in your website. Having images that feel on brand and that represent your work immediately make a website template go from template to feeling more like your home. It's a really good idea to size your images before uploading them to your website. And if you're not sure how to do that, check out the video that we'll link below that goes into a lot more detail about sizing images for the web. Once those images are sized, go ahead and upload them to your show at media library. This is gonna make it easy for you to pull those images and start working with them on your pages. And if you don't have a lot of images yet, don't worry, you can always use stock photos. We love sources like Social Squares, Pexels, and Unsplash for stock photos. The last thing I would gather before diving into your site is a list of any places that you've been featured, so press. And if you don't have any, don't worry, you can always hide that section on your design. Step two, customize the colors and the fonts on your site. Most Show It templates come with preloaded color palettes and font palettes. And if you wanna make drastic design changes to your template, starting with the color and font palettes is a great place to begin because it can help update a bunch of elements all at once. I recommend choosing or uploading the fonts that you do want to use in the design settings tab and then removing any fonts that you won't be using. This is going to make sure that no elements in your design use the old fonts. Then hop over to the font area under site style and update the heading tags, paragraph tags. This should update a lot of the copy on your website and hopefully keep you from having to go in and update each text box individually. To update the colors throughout your site, start with the color palette. Try to use your new colors in a similar format to the original colors. So if you wanna use a black black instead of a dark gray for your body copy, update the dark gray color with the black color and that should replace all of the body copy at once. You can always go in later and refine individual font elements, but hopefully by updating these colors together, it updates a lot of the colors throughout your site and makes your site feel more on brand. Next, we're gonna focus on headers and footers. Before you customize your headers and footers, I recommend creating a list of all of the pages you're going to need on your website and then creating those pages in Show It. I usually find that it's easiest to duplicate existing pages and then rename them. And don't worry about customizing them yet, you can get to that later in the process. Once those pages are created, it's gonna be easier to update the navigation menus in the header, the footer, and the mobile menu, and ensure that you're linking to the correct pages. Once you've updated those page links in the headers and footers, 
I would add your logo and then link to any relevant social media links if you're going to link to social media in those spots. From here, I recommend going through your website and starting to place some of those images that you have in your media gallery throughout your site. So these are gonna be images that show up as canvas backgrounds. These may be your headshots. These may be examples of your work. Don't stress about final image selections right now. Just try to get your images loaded into the site because as soon as those images are in there and the placeholders are gone, your site is gonna immediately feel more like you. And then we're gonna refine fonts and colors. So if there are any places that pulled in colors that, or fonts that you didn't 100% love, now is a good time to just check through the pages and make sure that fonts are sized correctly, that the colors are easy to read, that the colors that you added are on brand and show up in the correct spots. Again, this is something that's really gonna change your template from demo content to feeling on brand. Basically, at this point, we've gone through and made as many global adjustments as possible. And hopefully you feel some momentum as we start to dive into each page. From here, I think it's a good idea to start with the homepage and then work through each page of your website. So open up the homepage and start tweaking the text and the links to work for your business. If you're using one of our premium templates, feel free to use the starter copy as a base. It's there to serve as a guide to show you what kind of content might work well in different spots. And if there are sections of the design that you don't need or you don't need yet, you can always remove them or hide them. Likewise, you can always duplicate sections or copy and paste sections between pages. When it comes to the homepage, it's important to make sure that as soon as somebody comes onto the website, they know exactly what you do and who you do it for. So if you're a San Diego newborn photographer, those words should be at the top of the page or near the top of your page on your homepage. And they should be pretty large and easy to see. In general, try to keep your copy focused on benefits and not features. For example, if you're a photographer, it's more likely that your potential clients care more about the fact that they're getting beautiful images that capture their family and remind them of the season of their life than they care about the fact that they're getting 1,324 images. If you're new to show it, the blog is probably something that you'll work on last after you've completed all of your other pages. You can customize the colors and fonts and any kind of like sidebar content in your blog in show it but you won't be able to actually touch any blog posts until show it makes your site live and gives you a wordpress login so once your site is 100 percent complete i would make the coming soon page your home page and then ask show it to publish your site and set up your blog if you're coming from another wordpress site or squarespace they'll actually do a blog post migration for you and if you're coming from another platform such as blogger or wix you can select the advanced version of show it and once they give you your wordpress login you can try to do the content migration yourself if you just do a google search for the current platform that you're on and content migration, you'll probably find a way to export your blog posts and upload them to your new site. If a blog is brand new to you, you'll need to wait for show it to give you a WordPress login before you can upload any posts. That's why it's a great idea to set a coming soon page so that anyone who visits your website will see that coming soon page and not your work in progress blog. The last thing we're gonna do before going officially live is optimize and test. Now is a great time to go through your site and click on each link to make sure that they work. Review each page of your site on both desktop or mobile to make sure that all links work and there are no overlapping elements or any surprises after you announce your site. It might even be a good idea to ask a few friends to check through your website to look for any errors. Now is also a great time to optimize the SEO settings on your site. If you wanna learn more about customizing the SEO settings for ShowIt, click the link in the video below. We'll also include a link to our free ShowIt checklist to make sure that you have everything set before announcing your brand new site. There you go, an eight step process to get your new ShowIt site customized and live in no time. And if you purchase a design from our shop, it comes with a step-by-step -step tutorial teaching you how to use every single element of your website. If you have any additional questions or anything you'd like to see us cover in future videos, feel free to drop a question in the comments below. And make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Bye!